Good afternoon, everybody. At the outset, let me thank uh, you for inviting Go to be part of this AGM. It is indeed wonderful to see familiar faces and to be amongst people who love my school, Dr. Graham Holmes, so much. The UK committee and the other international committees worldwide have always been committed to ensure that the legacy of our founders, Reverend John Anderson Graham and Mrs. Catherine Graham is carried by thousands of sponsored children who have passed through the portals of the school built on the principles of love, care, empathy, and to give every child a second chance. It's great to be here. My name is Anirban Bhattacharya. Uh, it's a tongue twister. Uh, you can call me AB. Um, I was blessed to have uh, studied at DGH from 1982 to 1990. I was in Assam Cottage and Fraser Hostel. I'm currently the chairperson of GO, uh, which is the Global OGB Association, the world's largest official OGB alumni organization that is recognized by the government of India. Since our inception in 2014-15, GO has been committed to give back to the school via projects that will benefit the children and help provide a nurturing environment for them to grow up in. Till date, GO has repaired and renovated six girls' cottages and five boys' cottages with Murray being the latest. And this year we aim to repair Heathland. In 2021-22, we decided to upgrade the ancient classrooms so that the children feel good about where they study and also to help the school to have upgraded classrooms to match and rival the other schools. GO launched and completed the GO Adopt a Classroom project which saw us completely repair, renovate, rip apart rotten floorboards discover sweet wrappers under them from the 1960s and we spruced up 12 junior classrooms in the Queen Mary block and 10 in the middle school which is the Hornell Science block. It was a grand success and the children were extremely happy. It was amazing to see not only OGBs come forward but family members of people who had served as staff members in the past come forward and help to raise funds. So thank you everybody who donated uh, to this amazing project. 2022 also saw the epic bike for DGH campaign that had been delayed due to the pandemic. Tenzing Norsang of Go led the project and we had eight cyclists from India, USA, Scotland, France, England and Japan taking part. The bike ride was from Siliguri to Kalimpong via Gangtok in Sikkim. The route was the toughest of all the bike rides done across the years. This year's route had us cycling for four days, covering a total of 210 miles and climbing about 26,000 feet. This route could rival the Tour de France. $18,462 was raised for the school by this epic event. Some of the funds were raised towards the UK sponsorship program and the rest will be used for the various projects being helmed by GO. The success of this ride means 
there will be bike for DGH 2024. Uh, the route options currently uh, we are looking at are K2K, which is Kathmandu to Kalimpong, or perhaps option two, a brand new route, which is Shillong to Kalimpong. Watch this space, as they say on the telly. A generous OGB donor from the USA donated money to spruce up and upgrade the girls' toilet block. Um, because the school is going on currently, this project will get completed once the school breaks for the holidays. Now, to celebrate the 100 years of Crozier Club, Go raised funds to build an exclusive audiovisual conference room for the children and the staff. Crozier Club had not been upgraded for a while, or perhaps even for the last 50 years. And uh, so we had to build a new roof. We replaced the weak wooden floorboards with tiles, um, bought new furniture, a projector, and an audio system with a modern electronic lectern. And I've been told that the screenings have started already. Take a look. Early 2022, Go became aware that some private companies were interested in leasing the Ahava guest house and uh, running it uh, like a hotel. Now this alarmed Go and we quickly put together a plan and informed the board of management that Go was interested in safeguarding the property from external parties, as well as we wanted to ensure that the safeguarding of children continued due to Ahava's proximity to some of the cottages. Now, the challenge, of course, was to turn around Ahava. Go invited individuals and OGBs to donate and raise funds to repair, redevelop, and make Ahava comfortable for the modern tourist and make Ahava as the first preference for anyone visiting DGH. You know, we knew that raising funds for a building that's not a cottage uh, was going to be a challenge uh, as it lacked the sentimental or the emotional connect. The idea that Go hit upon was in exchange for your donation, you would get a timeshare at Ahava. Work has commenced to remove and replace the roof, followed by replacing large sections of the ground floor, and we will be building bathrooms, modernizing the plumbing and electricity. It's a heritage structure that has the power to attract tourists if it is run professionally. The next stage, of course, would be to put in an online booking system that will make it tourist friendly. At Go, we are completely dependent on donations that we receive for our projects and we cannot thank our donors, well-wishers and supporters enough who make each and every project of ours possible. You can read uh, more about our projects on our website. That's www.dghogbs.com. 2023 and beyond. So what do we have in store? We all know that there has been a drop in the number of sponsored children and private full paying boarders both of whom help the bottom line of the school. The drop has been due to multiple reasons, including uh, in a competition from other schools, uh, better schools available in the plains now, COVID acting as a deterrent for parents. Uh, they don't want to send their kids far away from them. Um, and also, of course, of course the, the political situation. Now, we can either keep harping on, on, on all of these problems or we can work together to find a solution. And one of the ways to make the school self-sufficient and profitable is that the cottages get filled up with border students. We cannot influence the admission of full paying children on our own, but we can definitely increase the number of sponsored children. But we do have a challenge. Our sponsors from abroad are aging, as you all know. The number of sponsors across the world have dwindled and so have the number of Anglo-Indian children who deserve to get sponsored. Now, Go is putting together the processes to launch the Go Sponsor a Child campaign, which aims to increase the number of sponsors from within the subcontinent and to also get younger sponsors to come on board and thereby get more sponsored children into the homes to fill up the cottages. Go uh, worked at the sponsor office uh, last year and we found the systems lacked transparency, 
Uh, it did not have enough manpower. There were communication issues and the processes to sponsor a child was cumbersome. Go aims to work with the school administration to smoothen the concerns and to put a system in place. And for that, we would like to request the sponsorship committee of the UK to come on board and help us do this. Without a working back end and smooth processes, we cannot expect new sponsors to come on board. You know, GO's aims are to encourage the sponsoring of all children who need a second chance and to fill the cottages so that the cottages are occupied, they are not left empty to rot and ruin, the bottom line of the school gets a boost and above all, we continue to fulfill the legacy of our founders, Dr. Reverend John Anderson Graham and Mrs. Catherine Graham. Every child needs a second chance. Finally, as you are all aware, in 2021, GO came together with the international committees, including the UK, and we drafted and created the GO and IC blueprint, which chalked out the challenges in detail and the remedies that needed to be adopted for the school to get back on its legs. We are glad that this formed the bedrock for the Deloitte audit report sponsored by the UK committee which has now been actioned by the Joint Independent Review Committee. This is amazing progress. We have to come together to ensure that the changes are implemented. We cannot sit back and expect them to happen on its own and by the school administration alone. As decided by the blueprint, every international committee and go have our responsibilities chopped out as per department. And yes, the school is 123 years old and she needs us to hold her hands. The school is our mother, our father, the only family many of us have ever had. And we cannot sit back and watch the school stumble. This is the time for the big push, for us to come together and help her stand. I hope we can rebuild my home, our home, in these coming years with much love and gratitude to all those who believe in GO and continue to support us in our various projects, we are indebted and we feel blessed. In James 1.22, it is written, But be doers of the word and not hearers only. So do not keep the homes only in your prayers, but in our action as well. Thank you once again for inviting GO to be part of this amazing AGM. Thank you so much. God bless all. God bless the homes. Thank you. When the rain is blowing in your face And the whole world is on your case I could offer you a warm embrace To make you feel my love When the evening shadows and the stars appear And there is no one there to dry your tears And I could hold you for a million years To make you feel my love
go to the ends of the earth for you to make you feel my love to make you feel my love